Hey guys, so here we are with Bristel. Uh, here's another LSA. Uh, I guess it's it's more popular than most. And uh, they early last year, I believe, they introduced the tail dragger version of this aircraft. And Bristel is actually, to me, one of the most beautiful ones in the market. There's, if you look at the sports cruiser, for example, there's a ton of airplanes that looks just like that. But you can tell with Bristel, it looks different, just like the nose curve. But let, let me show you. Let me show you some. Hello, so guys, here we are with John Kelly. John, John is from uh, is representing Bristella, so I'm I'm gonna ask a few questions about the aircraft. So from what I know, personally, it's a light sport, yes, it is. and I believe it was last year or a year ago you guys introduced some additional options. I don't know if they're available here in the U.S., but I remember they brought the tail dragger version, which also I guess has like a little <laughs> camper in the back. And also, uh, what else? Uh, there was an option for performance upgrade with the 914. Now, is that something that's available to the U.S. market, or or that's just over? Let me answer your your first question. Yes, uh, we do have a, a tail dragger option. Okay. It's called our TDO tail dragger option. Um, that particular aircraft uh, will come in at about 695 pounds. Okay. Uh, we also have the, uh, the turbocharged engine, but we would normally sell that airplane with our long wing version to people who live out in the Colorado high density altitude area. So the other aircraft that you're referring to uh, actually was a unique airplane that was designed for the Australian market and it had a sleeper sleeve in it. Right, I remember so that seeing you that. could actually went down through the center so that they, they wouldn't have to sleep on the ground in the outback. So we bought one of those because it was available to us and we just sold that one as well. Oh wow, awesome. Now, if you can talk a little bit about the numbers, uh, I remember actually seeing a video where the, the newest World Tax 915 but you guys were one of the first uh, manufacturers to test that and the numbers were pretty awesome. Now, with the 914 upgrade, I, I assume probably the, you wouldn't gain much with the cruise, but in the climb. That's right, exactly right. You're right. absolutely correct. When so, people ask me about the 914, right. yes, we do offer it. It doesn't increase the speed very much, right. but it does increase the climb performance. You're absolutely correct. Okay. Now, you also touched on the 915. Right. We actually have an aircraft in beta test on the 950. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to be able to fit the light sport market at this moment. And the reason I say that is because, first of all, it's going to add a considerable amount of weight to the airplane. And in order for the aircraft engine to be really efficient the way it should be, it needs to have a constant speed propeller. And in light sport, we can't have a camera because I'll, I'll fish for like if you look, I'll, I'll show that in a little bit. I saw just like the new console there, it's just the throttle. So we have a throttle and a mixture control, and that's a handbrake. So we also oh, okay. offer the handbrake now with anti-locking brakes. So you can get the handbrake with anti-locking, you can get the tow brakes with anti-locking. Okay. But the 915, yes, will be a great airplane, but it won't right. be able to be in the light sport yet. Okay, now price. Uh, I'm looking at this particular model here, it looks stacked up. So I'm thinking this it is, is more, more of the high-end yes. version. So what, what is the base price and then also if someone wanted all of the options that you have available? Okay, that's a, that's a really good question. I get asked that about 100,000 times at the show. <laughs> The base price of the airplane is $130,000. Okay. Um, and the way this particular one is equipped that you were videoing um, is about $220,000. Okay. So it has two G3X touch systems. It's got the autopilot with a separate control. It has a certified uh, radio with the glide slope indicators, the audio panel. It's got a lot of upgrades in this particular one. Okay. This also has our upgraded interior, which we call our Bentley interior, which has the leather interior with the piping around the outside. So yeah, this one is a loaded airplane. Okay, and being loaded, can this airplane, this is a question that even I I get asked by viewers, because light sport, you're, you can use it as an IFR aircraft, but it's a light sport, so people assume that you can't fly an IFR. Well, this one happens to be in the experimental category, Oh. and so, so therefore you can, if you have it so equipped, and okay. it meets the 91 racks. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, John. I You're really, welcome. I really appreciate your time.